Good morning, Copper Basin. Today is Thursday, April 17th, 2014. I'm Brandy Myers. And I'm Tristan Stowell, and this is CBTV News in 9. On today's show, we'll be talking about yesterday's baseball game and a student who was attacked by another group of students. So let's get started. The Polk County Ramp Tramp Festival will celebrate 56 years of ramps during the festival this year, held from April 23rd to the 26th. The 2014 Festival Committee is preparing for another great festival with many activities and events. The traditional ramp tramp will be on Wednesday, April 23rd. A group will travel into the mountains to gather the ramps, and anyone interested in attending this all-day event should meet at the Polk County Courthouse at 8 a.m. On Friday, there will be bluegrass and gospel music performances as well as plenty of food. The music will continue on Saturday and prizes will be given out throughout the day. Craft vendors will also be there displaying and selling their crafts. For more information, you can visit rampfestival.com. Now let's go to Tristany for the weather. Today will be sunny with patchy frost in the morning. Highs will be in the 60s and winds will be 5 to 15 miles per hour. Tonight will become increasingly cloudy with lows in the upper 30s. Tomorrow will be mostly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers. Highs will be in the 60s and there will be some light winds. Tomorrow night will be mostly cloudy with lows in the 40s. Now that's all for weather. Thanks for the weather, Tristany. Now let's find out more information about the book fair. And now the Adventure Time Guide to Books. Number one, learn the alphabet. Who got the ABCs? Raise your hand. Ready for step two? Two, books know everything. Answer me, book. What's better than butter? Therefore, three, books make you smarter. I understand everything. Four, books get you pumped. That's completely inappropriate. Uh, we, we were just enthusiastic about learning. Five, books have it all. Excitement. Suspense. And it has to have a happy ending. Six, books are fun to share with friends. I'm coming for you, Jake, with a story. And 38, books are, well, fun. Hey, crack open that book and read something for fun's sake, all right? Look for rad Adventure Time books and so many other books you'll want to read at your Scholastic Book Fair. Whoa, Finn, nice book. The book fair will be in the Media Center until next week on Tuesday. Now let's go to Tristany for the sports. The boys baseball team had a game against Boyd yesterday. They played great, but they didn't get the win. Their next game is Saturday at 10 a.m. It is against Boyd again, but it is home this time. So come out and support the baseball team. The girls softball team has a game tomorrow. Their next game is Monday against Boyd at 5, so good luck Cougars. The Florida School Board has decided to fire a teacher who allegedly ordered a group of six boys to attack a younger student to teach him a lesson. During the incident, the 7th grade boy told the teacher that he wished he could cuss her out sometimes. She apparently didn't like what she heard and told six 8th grade boys to attack the younger boy. According to the reports, the 7th grade boy was picked up by his neck and made to apologize to the teacher. The school board said that the teacher made a very poor decision and they fired her. The boy's family said that they have not received any sort of apology and they plan to file a lawsuit. Now let's go to Tristany for the lunch. Now for lunch in line one, we'll be having hot dog, coleslaw, grapes, and milk. And in line two, we'll, and in line two, we'll be having Salisbury steak and milk. And for breakfast in line one, we'll be having sausage biscuit, milk, and juice. And in line two, chicken biscuit, milk, and juice. Now that's all for lunch. date forms must be turned in today. Your books are on sale for $55. Be sure to get a mm -hmm. copy before they sell out. Um, the book fair and the media center, has they have decided to extend that to Tuesday, okay. so yes. Today is not the last day, actually. Okay. There's no school tomorrow. 
Uh, senior scholarship interviews are on April 22nd, starting at 3.30. Be sure to dress appropriately. Prom is April 26th from 8 to 11. Happy birthday to Bristol Ray. Birthdays over the weekend are Colin Flannery, Sam Bonavista, and Emily Patterson. Happy birthday. Also, there is a bake sale today. Bake sale. During lunch. Yes, they have dirt cake. Oh. Now it's time for the word of the day. Today's word of the day is synthesis. Synthesis means to combine means combination. Combination. <laughs> her writing was a synthesis of complex <laughs> thought and emotion. And now a word from our sponsors. There's strong, and then there's army strong. It is not just the strength to obey, but the strength to command. Not just strength in numbers, the strength of brothers. Not just the strength to lift, the strength to raise. Not just the strength to get yourself over, the strength to get over yourself. It's more than physical strength. It is emotional strength. There is nothing on this green earth stronger than the U.S. Army, because there is nothing on this green earth stronger than a U.S. Army soldier. There's strong, and then there's army strong. Find out more at goarmy.com slash strong. Hey, you better watch out for those teachers because they might make someone beat you up. Please don't. That's pretty sad. What I'm kind small. of teacher would say that? I don't know. A bad one. A really, really bad one who needs to be put in jail. At least she got fired. Yeah. But she still needs to be put in jail. That is all the time we have to, for today's show. We'll see you Monday on CBTV News at 9. Have a good weekend.